What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back, and oh, how has the journey evolved? So, uh, I am obviously trucking through New Game Plus, where we left off on the last episode. Mainly been focused on things that I didn't get to do before. Uh, so, went over here, got the, the quest for the Sphinx done. There's a second portion, which I think is what we're going to do in just a second here. I found the... I did the book quest which is a two-parter. It also involves the, what I've discovered is a, uh, a mage meister or a I'm sorcery meister. But they are here. Let's see, is she still out? I am grateful to you. Yeah, they want me to come back. Um, but yeah, I wanna go, I wanna go do the Medusa. We got Warfare working. So let me see, I think I got a fairy stone here. Let me use a fairy stone, get out of here. Uh, so to recap on some stuff, uh, I got all the books, and it's 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 a lot. You got to take the books, and then you need to make counterfeits of all the books. And when you get the counterfeits, you give the counterfeits to the dude here at the house. That will give you Maelstrom, and then you give the real books to right here, this little girl that's just near Border Watch Outpost. She wants to learn magic. You go there during the day, give her the real books. Uh, as for the locations of the books, so Death Knell was in the ancient battleground, kind of like Irish when you go inside with the quest for the, y'all remember the dude that wanted us to, to ring the thingy. Uh, we had one that was here in the Gracious Hands Vault. There's the one that is at the dude's house, the trick is you need to uh, you need to just go over here and you go in through a side window. You jump onto his balcony and get it. Uh, there's one that is over in Melv that you bought trade for. And then you make a forgery of that and you take that one over to Nameless Village and you trade to get the fifth book. So multiple forgeries you got to get uh, and then that gives you enough books to get them all. As for the the warfare quest, which now that it's now that it's working, you know I can just just boom 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 super cool. Uh, but basically, you you had to you had to do the quest with dude. So I ended up uh, running on over, just kind of beeline for him, and did that quest. Gave him the newt liquor. Now I got the rearmament skill, and warfare works properly. So the next thing on our agenda is we are going to head on out over to here. Over here somewhere. I didn't explore this. I believe this is the location of the, the Sphinx, but we're really just going to head out in general. There's a bunch of stuff that I haven't explored. So, you know, there's stuff over here. There's uh, stuff. Oh, I did the, the battle forest. But there's stuff up here. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot to explore, a lot to do. Uh, we'll, we'll replace Sirash at some point along the way. Uh, I've been, I'm at the point now where I've started basically pimping out equipment to give to the official pawn. Which on that note, so the, uh, the Dragon Forge, that is where the best in slot equipment comes. It doesn't come from a boss fight as I assumed. You go here and you trade Dragon Crystals and as you trade those, you get access to the gear. So, just to show well, some of that stuff real fast. Like yourself, well, doubtless appreciate. We the Dragon's Dogma, one-handed sword, continually strike taking damage, empowers the, the blade. Uh, the Dragon's Bite, the more harm the wielder takes, the stronger it becomes. Here's a, a bunch of stuff. I picked up armor, too. Come again. And then I got the... Uh, the staff for that is also on our pawn. It's magics mingle the wielders and heighten them beyond belief. But it's it's funny. I haven't bought like anything from them for me except for like my pants. I think uh, I've been entirely concerned with just getting stuff for the pawns because you know this save is is essentially set. But um, you know, got to get that official pawn ready to rock and roll. We're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Actually, I'm going to replace Sirash with the... Do you want to die, bro? What are you doing making all this noise? Hmm. 
I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. I think I might take off this one for now. Hmm. If I have it off though, my weight goes up considerably. I wanted to have a regular bow on just to swap and, and use arrows. Actually, no, screw it. I'll keep it on. I'm not dealing with my weight going up. Which, I mean, even though you can only have uh, three skills on and rearmament, you could have on, like, every single weapon and just swap through them and do the, the baseline weapon movesets. But yeah, I've been doing, uh, Warfare is pretty fun now that it's working. I'm really enjoying it. You got a big boy jump. Rosh is hanging in there. I actually thought about having daggers on just for when it's time to climb. But that's why we got a telephore. There's the last one. Is it on your foot? Listen, man, you're getting a little uppity right now. to kill this damn griffin before I can finish the golem, I think.
Yeah, that's weird. I don't see your, your weak spot. This is where I would just use my ultimate skill, but obviously don't have access to that playing as uh, Warfare. Oh, there we go. It's locking. Come on, one hit. One hit. Where's it at? Until he shows it again. Come on. Come on. Give me a weak spot. Man, even in low ass gear, Sarash is doing such a good job pulling aggro. I can't wait till he's actually a warrior and he ends up just clapping cheeks. There we go. An appropriate choice arisen. I'll gladly take the lead. Alright, so I want to go basically northwest. Well, we're not fighting another one right now. Which I'm still not sure. I think I like. I kind of want to go in like how in the key art we have. Uh, just give that to Liana to hold. Uh, puts her into heavy. Give that to Atila to hold. Yeah, sure. Atila can hold it. Just holding two bows. It's funny. But I I really want to work in magic. I don't know which. I'm thinking I would... I think I would maybe go uh, Spark Mine. Because I know I can't do like Maelstrom or, uh, or uh, Meteor since those are considered max spells. So that's unfortunate, but there's lots of other stuff I can do. Spark Mine would be a decent choice. Um, the ice ability is good, but also kind of a vanilla choice to be like, hey, we're dual casting this. But yeah, Warfare has, has quickly drawn. In fact, the only reason I even have this on is just for the, the mobility of jumping over ledges and then doing that move. Go do the poison quest right now. <laughs> so again, hi, I'm already poisoned. Actually, let me change the order of this. Let's go 
you first, and then I'll swap to this, and then I would swap to that. Yeah, really, really liking Warfare, though. Warfare is... Who are you? You look, you look promising. Come here. Hey, do you not want to... All right, whatever. I didn't want you to join me anyway. Oh, we're still in combat, that's why. Is that Sarash again? Just leave him, leave him. He's... It's a level two pawn, and clearly not a level two area. Yeah, but I did a pretty significant, like, chill gameplay sesh. I literally just, just laying in bed recording. Not even worried about anything, just wandering around the map. Fighting stuff, looking for dungeons. It was good. It was really good. Tell you more about them if you like, Master. A forgotten rift stone we've not discovered lies nearby. It is this way, as I recall, from my last sojourn beyond the rift. You have my protection. All right, y'all want to go? See, that's the beauty of warfare, man. Like, I'm busy fighting something, and then I'm just like, you know what? This is pissing me off. We're gonna switch to hammer and smash you. Since I don't have ricochet shot. Ahead. Be alert for changes in the terrain. Try not to lag behind or stray too far ahead. Lest we lose sight of each other. Obstacle shan't get the better of us. Must be a way to remove it. If a ranged attack is needed. You can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? Oh, you notice Liliana's fashion has been updated. I, say we give I finally got. Time. I got rid of the Coomer armor. Jasper. Which there's a face thing I'm debating if I want to get because it like it'll cover up her or her face. It's like a almost like trickster chains, but the. Uh, Really good uh, debilitation prevention. I'll probably get it. Wait, are you a pawn? Boy, keep your distance. The hell, you look like another bandit. He was attacking the bandits. A bandit falling out. This would have been the perfect cave for Ricochet Shot. It would have just been like, ba 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 just kill everybody. Who else wants to get smashed? We have to go back and talk to little girl too, which should get us the mage meister skill. Tremendous work. Our combined 
might is beyond any foe. Perhaps this has no bearing on the matter, but might I add? We could add a warrior to our weapons. What say you, Master? Well, I suppose if we're all in our backs brute force, we ought to consider it. Warrior is not needed. I am the warrior. I guess this area is done. Just a little in and out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to pick up the next pawn I have. I'm not going to go uh, fight the Sphinx with three pawns. Which I don't know if I have to fight the Sphinx. I'm just kind of assuming, like... Uh, which, by the way, so to recap the, the Sphinx puzzles, since I, I did it New Game Plus, um, we obviously messed up on our first playthrough. Uh, the very first one, the treasure, it's immediately above the door. You just walk in, look up, there's a chest. I actually got uh, Gaijin Hunter pointed that one out. The parent one, uh, Sphinx parent, that one's pretty simple, we know. The one you love is actually just your pawns. I got that one from Gaijin as well. So you just, you just walk up with your pawns. And what's funny is the dialogue changes depending on, on how many pawns. Like, I had two and she was like, oh, more than one. She's like, oh, better to be greedy than to be boring. It's like, oh, okay. Um, the Seeker, we already know the Seeker token. The Beetle, we already knew the Beetle. And then the... What was the last one? Seeker token, the beetle, the love, the treasure. Oh, and then Sphinx Mother. Yeah, so that's all five. But anyway, you do all five and then she's... She just like, up and leaves. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. This, are you not hostile? Who are you? Rocky Lair. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in digging a few. Merchant? I've got wares of every ilk. What do you got? Got a couple of those. Ooh, yes. Purchasing those anytime I see them now. Those are really useful. Mmm. to see you again ere long. This looks like it's a little... Oh, like a little town here? I don't want to explore too much because like I do want to, to keep stuff that I haven't experienced for my other character. Is a strange sword. Big dog. Weird to see merchants in here, because like the dude was walking out like he was making trades. But it looks like this is just a quick little little in and out. Nothing wrong with that. Master, I found a campsite near here while I was journeying beyond the rift. We're not going to a campsite just yet. We're taking this. Can I take us there now? This other path. Hey, for real, bro. I'm gonna beat the bejesus out of you in a second. Uh. 
Big damage there. Just stay frozen while we finish you off. I do we gotta say the uh, running warfare, but multi swapping between like melee, spellblade, and magic archer, dude. It feels like assassin, but just so much better. Like those of you that, that played the first game, I shall take you to the one you actually see. this is more for those that didn't. But there's a there's a class called assassin, and is assassin is done. basically the hybrid between like a warrior and an archer. So you you have uh, you can use daggers or you can use a sword. You're very strong when you like climb on top of stuff. You can just you know stab it to death, do a ton of damage. Uh, you can pull out a bow. So it's, it's, you know, kind of like an, an arms master, I guess you could say. Bro, what? Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta quit that. Noxious little fuckers, huh? <gasps> Humans and the bandits are working together. That was hard one. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always. I might mix up things a little bit. I don't know. I'm really so. On one hand, on one hand, I really like how much damage. Windstorm Slash is capable of putting out. On the other, the permanent stun lock of Mountain Breaker is pretty wild. But I guess if I have Windstorm Slash, I really don't need Sagiate Avalanche. So we could put Ricochet Hunter, and now we have Instant Cave Wipeout. We have Big Damage, and then we have Mobility. I think that looks good. For us. Use the heavier one. Uh, 
aged scrag, rotten, rotten, or a regular. Use this guy. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Indeed. Okay. There's a cracked riftstone over there. We'll never get anywhere before we do rest. Not gonna make it. To make no, I'm not gonna make it. Get up, no, get up, get up, get up, get up. No. When the mobility move isn't enough. Have you forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. Wait, I've been over there, I think. Yeah, I have, because I got that chest before. Stay with me, Arisen. Alright, so hang on, where am I going then? Let's see. Looks like there is a path here. Shitrim Falls. Do I just... Oh, yeah, climb up here. Okay, we've already started, like, coordinating with other... other people who are playing early. We've been figuring out... Figuring out where to find stuff that... <laughs> Any of us missed? This battle cannot be avoided. Tis fight or die. Is easily done. Oh, but hang on, this looks like it's a side path. Is it behind the waterfall? Nope. We do not go through the waterfall. I was like, oh, through the waterfall. That sounds awesome. Yep. Nope. Definitely not through the waterfall. Hmm. So looking at the map, it looks like there should be... I think that goes under. So I gotta get to this road. Oof. That's a pretty... Pack's grown rather heavy. I might be able to just go up and around. Otherwise, we grab a harpy. Yeah, no, this definitely seems like it's it's looking promising. Approach me if you dare. So having access to a mystic bow while I can use greatsword is just it's so fucking clutch because exactly reasons like that like the harpy is one of the few things I'm gonna struggle with because all the only thing I can really do against it is just aim and and you know hope like come attack me when you attack me I'm gonna hit you and hope it works out but if I am uh, if I got magic bow nope shooting your ass out the sky And now we got a deep, dark, dank cave. So let's wrap things up here for now. The New Game Plus journey will continue in a moment. Uh, just to kind of set expectations, we're, we're not going to go through and beat the game again. But I, I want to explore all of that because I didn't before. I don't remember what's over. What's this? Ancient Battle Ring. I did that. So I want to check out this. And then there's whatever is over here. And then whatever is right here and then whatever is right through here and then this area as well and then that will probably 
be like a, an end to the series because there's a lot of stuff I, you know we kind of got pushed through to the end so now we're going back and doing the things that i would have liked to do the first time around that i just didn't get a chance to so stay tuned and i'll catch y'all when we continue